Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing well and are enjoying the first annual College of Fine Arts and Communications Carnival. My name is Mason Strother, and I'm a senior graphic design major from Newton, North Carolina. I'm very eager and excited to share with you all my most recent series entitled Timeless. Timeless explores Catawba County's rooted pioneering spirit through the exploration and creation of its various monuments. There are six paintings in total, and each painting measures around six inches by six inches, which fit right below the width and height of a dollar bill. So it was very tiny, and me being very detail-oriented, it was difficult and challenging, but I learned a lot from it. The first painting of my series, Timeless, is entitled Bunker Hill Covered Bridge. This bridge is located in Claremont, North Carolina, and was built in 1895. It is only one of two covered bridges left built in North Carolina, uh, so it means a lot for the area. Um, and it is currently owned and maintained by the Historical Association of Catawba County. Um, this being my first piece of the series, I, I wanted to do something unique here and that I wanted to focus a lot on the bridge itself. Um, so the background is a little bit more muted and flat, uh, so you could really focus on uh, the intricacies and all of the different logs and structures within the bridge itself. Um, but also, I just love the way that the pathway goes inward and it directs your eyes um, to this kind of foggy day. The second piece of this series is Murray's Mill. Murray's Mill is surrounded by a historical district, which includes many other buildings, around 20, uh, which include houses to uh, other buildings with similar functions to the mill. Now, this painting is of the mill, um, which was created and built in the late 1800s, but the rest of the surrounding district was built up until the mid-1900s. A fun fact about the mill itself is that the original wooden dam um, is said to be located at the bottom of the pond that you can see in this painting. Now this painting was a little bit different than the last one and that I wanted to be a little bit more colorful and um, head on in the approach. So there's not as much of an angular um, kind of uh, linear perspective element to it. Um, this is more so flat and you're just looking at the mill itself. But given the scale, I was still able to get the siding and it was a very intricate and time consuming process, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The third piece of the series is of the old St. Paul's Lutheran Church, and that's located in Newton, North Carolina. It's actually around five minutes away from my house, so I'm very familiar with it and I've seen it a lot throughout my lifetime. Uh, this was built in 1818, and it's actually the oldest church in North Carolina that stands west of the Catawba River. Um, and that was very interesting. I didn't know that prior to my research. Um, but a pretty sad and haunting story about this church is that there was a runaway slave in the mid-1800s. And as he was being captured, he was hiding in this church. The bloody imprints of his hand stained the inside of the church. That stain can still be found today, but nonetheless, I still wanted to, to create a painting of this landmark. Um, the siding was very difficult, just like Murray's Mill, um, but I even went to the details of trying to trying to write the little text on the signage. Um, it was difficult, but I with how it turned out, just like the last one. The fourth piece of this series is Harper House. It was built in 1887, and many different families have lived in it. Uh, it's very reflective of Victorian life in the South, especially in North Carolina, and it's considered by the North Carolina Department of Archives and History to possess the, quote, finest and interior styling in the entire state. Catawba County's Historical Association raised around $2 million to renovate this home, and uh, I think they've done a great job. Um, a fun fact about Harper House is that it's actually less than five minutes away from Lenore Ryan as well. Um, so, I mean, you could take a quick walk and visit this beautiful Victorian home. This was perhaps the most difficult of the six paintings just because of the immense detail that the house commanded. Um, and me being detail-oriented, of course, 
took on at first and I tried to I tried to get every little shingle and windowsill and uh, intricacy down um, even down to the foliage I made sure that each color and each placement of the uh, the elements in this piece were, were correct uh, but I believe that the painstaking detail and effort that I want to create this piece was worth it I think that it turned out all right the second to last piece of my timeless series is the Chapel of Peace located at Hart Square in Vail, North Carolina now originally the Chapel of Peace was located outside of Catawba County but the mission of Hart Square was to take local landmarks and move them to their venue in Vail. Um, this is one of the most memorable and iconic uh, features of Hard Square located across the beautiful lake. Um, and it is the sole building just sitting in front of trees and foliage. And it's beautiful. Um, a fun fact about this building is that throughout its life, it was repurposed into an apartment and so where the altar used to be it was repurposed into a kitchen um with a hallway dividing the building in half um, but as it was moved to heart square uh, of course it was re-renovated re into uh, a church to reflect what it would have looked like in the 18th and 19th centuries um, this painting was the only painting where i didn't include the sky just because whenever i went to heart square it felt like the trees were kind of engulfing the building um, but also uh, you know I, I i tried to get very detailed with the foliage and kind of tell that story of the nature uh, that's surrounding the chapel of peace the last piece of my timeless series is the Chancellor baxter and the lever barn which is also located at heart square it was built in 1860 and is the only double cantilevered barn in heart square um, the cantilever barn is because of the overhangs that's how it gets its name um, and it actually stands near the chapel of peace i got to see this in person and also in the heart square uh coffee table book and uh, just, you know, seeing it, uh, seeing it surrounded by such beautiful buildings, uh, it's a truly spectacular experience. This is actually my favorite painting of the series. Um, I love the leaves, the shadows cast by the trees. Um, and again, how small it is. I, I think that I was able to accomplish a great level of detail. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. But that is all that I have for you all. Uh, we will be having a Q&A session later. So if you have any questions for me, please let me know and I will not hesitate to answer. So again, thank you for your time and attention and I hope you all enjoyed.